How to change your permalinks using FileZilla. Hey everyone, Gil here, and in this walkthrough tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you're going to update and change your permalinks um, for your WordPress website. Now, what is a permalink? Okay, uh, basically, a permalink is a way to make your links more search uh, engine friendly. Right now, in the once you install WordPress and the uh, original or the default settings, your links on your posts are going to appear like this, right? It's going to be uh, uh, your domain.com forward slash question mark P equals one, two, three, right? And so instead of having that as your link, um, this is what we are looking to accomplish dub, 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 your domain.com and then the title of your blog post which could be the keyword or key phrase that you want to rank for so this basically tells a search engine like Google what your web post is about so if you're posting a article or a video on how to change your permalinks Google can easily read it as how to change permalinks as opposed to a bunch of random numbers uh, and, uh, and symbols or letters that are on there right um, so let's go ahead and get to it now there's a couple things you'll definitely need to have in place um, I'm gonna be using FileZilla for this one and uh, you want to go ahead and go to google.com okay and uh, search FileZilla right it's right on there and there'll be a link in the resources as well watch this video in its entirety and then rewatch it open the link so you can follow step by step but at least by viewing it in its entirety you kind of get an idea of what to expect what's coming your way and you're not mixed up in between multiple windows okay so FileZilla the free uh, FTP uh, solution or file transfer uh, protocol all right now there are you obviously want to download the most current version of FileZilla and so we want to go ahead and quick download links download FileZilla server Windows only so I'll go ahead and click that okay so yeah definitely want to make sure you're always downloading the most current version and so I'm gonna go with download FileZilla client all platforms all right and the latest uh, stable version of FileZilla client is 3.8.0 and um, alright so I am downloading I'm using a Windows computer so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and download here and it's gonna ask to uh, save the file now there's a couple of things uh, I definitely took note of uh, and I want to point out as we go through this download process actually the installation if you notice here on the bottom it is now downloading FileZilla 3.8.0 okay and I'm, I'm gonna launch the file so it downloaded here pretty quick I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and uh, do you want to run this file so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click run and um, on my computer it always asks to verify from trying to install and install something so that's normal I'll go ahead and click yes and give it a second here to go ahead and load here we go welcome to the SourceForge download manager okay so date files date added perfect and uh, I it's gonna take us through the uh, installation process on here now I'm gonna wait a second wait for that to turn into a mouse once again there we go it's finished loading and go ahead and click uh, next okay so this is what I wanted to point out to you guys whenever you install software you always want to take a second to review some of these little pop-ups on here so that it doesn't uh, sneakily or ninja its way uh, into adding other stuff onto your computer uh, now in this particular case I do not want this software and uh, I don't recommend it either so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click advanced installation and uh, remove all these items I do not want this my search dial I like google.com my system runs smoothly so I'm gonna not install that okay so uh, I'll go ahead and move forward and if you notice thank you for considering this offer from our advertiser your consideration helps us support the open source community your choice does not affect your installation of FileZilla alright so I'll hit accept and continue on here um, description now it's trying to install Norton security antivirus 
Uh, accept, you agree to Norton Mobile. No, I do not want this. Um, so I am going to decline this offer. Thank you, your download is complete. You have successfully downloaded FileZilla. Click install now to install the software on your, on your machine. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on install now. All right, and uh, it should start the installation process here. We'll give it a second to completely load. All right, and while this page, okay, there we go. All right, so now the first time you open your FileZilla software, right, this particular, uh, it, it may ask you that there's a new update, so just go ahead and update to the latest version and let it run its course. And hit finish. All right, so it's going to take me through this process here. Now it's trying to update. Just let it wait, give it a second, and here we go. So now we are using the most current version of uh, FileZilla. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, maximize this, open it up. Now, once you have FileZilla successfully installed on your program, uh, on your computer, you will need a host, a username, password, and a port so that you can do a quick connect. Uh, let me show you how I got all that information. Now, in order to fill in the blanks here in FileZilla, all you have to do is go to your uh, hosting account. And in my particular website that I'm building, I'm using this hosting company. There will be a link in the resources for you to check them out, but you'll want to go ahead and log in. Now, when you do log into your hosting account, at this point, I recommend that you call them Okay, let them know, talk to somebody in tech support and let them know that you are going to use FileZilla, okay, so they need to set up a file transfer protocol for you, all right? Now, once you're inside of your hosting account, you'll want to focus on this FTP button right here. Go ahead and click on that, okay? And at this point, uh, like I mentioned, you want to talk to... Uh, uh, your hosting company directly, have them set up your file transfer protocol, let them know you need a host, a username, password, and a port so that they can set that up for the domain name that you are looking to um, access using FileZilla or an FTP uh, program. Now, in order to get that username and password info, the hosting company can set that up for you. Uh, and I'll take a screenshot on here uh, so you guys get an idea. This is the main site, but if I scroll down, uh, I will see these different accounts and they will set this up for you, give you a username, FTP username, FTP server, and tell you what port to go ahead and use so that you can enter it here uh, into FileZilla. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my information uh, under my host, username, and password along with the port, and I will click enter in my uh, personal information, and you should see this officially connect uh, into um, my uh, domain name or my hosting account. Okay, so now that we've gotten FileZilla uh, installed on here, all right, now all I have to do is fill in the host by the hosting company. So when you call them and let them know that uh, they are looking to do, uh, or that you're looking to set up your file transfer uh, protocol, they will set this up for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, enter the username, uh, password, and the information that they had uh, given me here, and do a click on Quick Connect. And we should be able to log in here. All right, so now that we have successfully uh, connected on here, all right, um, we just want to make sure that we are in the main directory, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up a text file so that we can update the permalinks, and I'll get that open up here for you and uh, walk you through that. 
Okay, so now let's set up the file here. I'm going to go ahead and set up a new text file. So uh, I've got this saved on my computer. Just make sure you know where you are saving the file. And I'll go ahead and right click, click new, and new text file. So I want to go ahead, or actually a text document. All right. And leave that one on there. So this should be a .txt file. Let me just make sure. There we go. So it's a .txt file. All right. And next up, we are going to go ahead and just drag and copy this to the main uh, directory. Okay, and we should see that right here. Right, so I dragged and dropped it over here, new text uh, document, and then we're going to go ahead and update this particular file. All right, so I've located the document over here on the right hand side, right? And um, right click, and we just want to rename this file, okay? Uh, .hta or htaccess. All right, and there we go. Where did it go? There we go, HT access, and then we're going to update the settings here of this particular file. Okay, and uh, I'm going to right click, change, update the file permissions. I'm just going to go ahead and update this to 777. Click OK. So now that has been updated, and I'm going to go back to my main WordPress site. All right. And in the main WordPress site, okay, I'm going to go uh, into login here, all right, just uh, log into the back admin where the settings are, right? Put your mouse over settings or click on settings. Uh, a couple options will go ahead and pop up down here on the left-hand side. Click on permalinks, okay, and we'll update the settings here. And here in the permalink settings, we'll go ahead and click on post name. All right, click save changes, and we should see there you go permalink structure updated. You want to make sure that uh, the settings were saved and it is updated. Okay, now after you've updated the settings here inside of your WordPress account, we're going to go back and secure the uh, HT access file. Okay, which is this one right here, the same one that we were working on uh, earlier. I'm going to right click, file permissions, change this back to 644, oops, 644 okay, and uh, click OK. Looks like so they updated all uh, that went through, okay. All right. And so just to go back here into WordPress, now every time we do create a post, uh, it will create a link with a friendly um, URL, okay? Uh, once again, it makes it easier for the search engines, the robots, the spiders that crawl or visit the web page to understand what the content uh, is or what your post is about. And the easier it is for the search engines uh, to index and read and know what that information is about, the faster they can categorize, index, and feature uh, your content. So it starts to get, uh, uh, it can start ranking organically, and um, uh, you can start getting found on the internet, driving traffic to that particular post. And uh, there we go. So uh, do if you do have to rewatch the whole video, that's okay. Uh, go ahead and follow it along step by step, so we can update. Uh, you can update your permalink structure. See you on the next video. Oh, um, once again, if you are just catching on uh, to this particular series, uh, it is part of a step-by-step -step and an ongoing series, so you definitely want to uh, check out the previous posts, okay? And that'll give you the opportunity to follow along step by step. That way you're not missing any of the crucial components. There will be an email address right above this post or in the description uh, if you do need a little bit of help in getting this set up um, or would like to get started uh, building out an income producing website joining our accountability group. Um, and you can also stay on top of the latest updates and training sessions that we host uh, regularly. So my name is Gil. We'll see you on the next uh, video or training session. Bye.